Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a simple water material in Godot 3.2. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead now and add a spatial 3D. So after you've done that, you can add a mesh instance. Okay. And in the mesh instance, hit on this drop down and say new fly mesh. Now I'm going to scale this one up a little bit. And by up a little bit, I mean a lot. Now I'm going to the spatial, and we're going to add a sky texture. So first, we need to add a wood environment. Then over here, click on the drop down and click new environment. Now go inside of your environment, go into the background, and change this the mode from clear color into sky. Then change the sky from empty to new panorama sky. Now go into the panorama sky and say load go into assets textures and then we can choose our HDRI texture and now we have our HDRI texture I'm also gonna add a directional light just like that I'm gonna rotate it a little bit okay so after I've done that. We're done with our scene setup. I'll also add a cube, which is gonna be another mesh instance. Then we can go into mesh and change this into new cube mesh. Okay. Now go into our water. Can we name this into water? Okay. Can go into material over here click the drop down and click new spatial material so now we've created a new material click on the material itself go into flags and enable transparent now go into albedo and we're gonna choose our water color I'm gonna give it a nice bluish color okay and we're also gonna give it a little bit of alpha maybe around 169 okay now go into roughness and change this into zero now go into the normal map hit enable and scale you can change this into 0 0.03 in the empty drop down go ahead and hit load then you can choose any water normal map you like I like this one so I'll choose it so after you're done with the normal map, go into refraction, hit enable, and then change the scale into 0 0.03, and the texture into our normal map texture that we just chose, 109. Then go and scroll down a little bit and go into proximity fade, hit enable and leave the distance at 1 so now we have this water you can see its reflections along the surface now go into the UV one and you can play around with the scale out a little bit you know just change this to 10 and this to 10 and, you know you can add more detail into your water just doing so I'm just playing around with it right now and seeing which one works better so yeah now we've increased the scale of the water I can go ahead upwards a little bit to the albedo and change the color I'm not really a big fan of this one more of a dark color and you know I might actually increase the alpha a little bit okay so you can keep playing around till you get the best results you want so now we have this nice water material now we want to animate it a little bit it's not gonna be really realistic but it's gonna get the job done so with your water selected, go ahead now and add an animation player. 
After you've done that, click on this animation and hit new. And call this water movement. Okay. Now we're done with this. Make sure that this guy is a, a node of this water mesh instance. Now in our water, you can go ahead now, go back into the material and into UV1. Then you can go ahead now and add a new track by clicking on this little key icon and hitting create. So now we've added a new track, go ahead into 1 and change the offset and the x axis into 1, then click on the track. So now it's a little bit animated. It's not really realistic, but it gets the job done. Now over here, you can click on this icon, which makes sure that it runs when you start the game, and click on this animation looping. So now we have this water animation. Just try and expand these guys for you, so you can see better. Okay. So yeah, this is our animation. You can also play around with the speed, if you don't like this type of speed Pause the animation, go to the animation player and in the properties In the playback options you can actually mess around with the speed For example, let's make it at 0 0.2, but this makes it too slow Maybe 0.4 maybe Yeah. So you can play around with these options so after you've done that, now I can add a camera into our scene. So now we have a camera in our scene. Just move it upwards a little bit, you know. Just rotate it. No, not on this axis, rotate it on the Y axis. And yeah, let me just a little bit far away, further away. And also want to go with the X axis. So yeah, we get a good view. And if you hit this scene play button, hit yes and save our scene. can see that we now we have this really nice looking water material in the dough 3.2 so this was today's video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and see you later